Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. We are 3 p.m. Jerusalem time on Monday, the 16th of September, 2024. And we are with the, Afri uh, sorry, <laughs> the Hong Kong Watch. <laughs> sorry, I'm so used to advertising the Africa Watch. Sorry, um, I'm with, we're with Jessica Cheng and she's going to be leading the Hong Kong Watch on this uh, Monday afternoon at 3 p.m. Jerusalem time. And I would like to just hand over to her and say it's so lovely to see her again. Um, with having had that break, it's, it feels as if it's a long time since we had a, a Hong Kong watch. So I just lift her up to you right now and say, thank you, Lord, that you are going to speak clearly through her, that the, the Wi-Fi will not, not be a problem. It will uh, be clear and we will have a good hour together. So thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, Jessica. Over to you, hey? <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm so happy to be back on the Global Watch Family platform. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are <laughs> Uh, because I didn't go to the Hernhood this year, and I still haven't had have the time to catch up the message yet. But I'm sure it is gonna. It, it was. It, it was a great. I I heard it from Tess from other people that it was a very 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 good summit, and I'm a bit jealous, but I'm so happy for the body of Christ and everything. And uh, I want to. Uh, I want to share a little bit that uh, I am in the middle of a hub and possession set. Um, it is, uh, um, Hong Kong is a very, very small city. And it is uh, at, the, at the edge of the, uh, the the geographic land of China. And we are very opposite to Taiwan, uh, a one hour boat trip, boat distance from uh, Macau, uh, which is a, another smaller city. <laughs> And which is you consider Macau is like uh, Las Vegas in uh, in 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 America. It's about casino, the economy, everything is about casino. But um, right now uh, we are all connected because of the uh, 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 Pastor David Damien and also some of uh, some of the very very powerful, very uh, devoted pastors from around the world. Uh, also, they love the Lord so much. They they, they dedicate so many time, so many hours or even hundreds of thousands of hours to seek the Lord. And we had homecoming uh, gathering in the past. Uh, maybe some of you guys have been with us for uh, quite a time that you have heard that uh, we have for, it is uh, the homecoming gathering is, it was, it was initiated from uh, in Canada as I know of, but it is very, very, um, important to Chinese because uh, some of a major gathering, uh, so to speak, to us, to us, it was hosted in Hong Kong. Of course, there are also some small pocket, uh, uh, pocket revival like gathering of homecoming. It, it was happened uh, secretly in different cities in mainland China and other places, also in uh, different cities of uh, Asia. But um, but uh, the homecoming gathering it is so important to us that because it it says about very very strong tone and also put uh, put uh, the quarter trip uh, three three babies in the womb is triplet uh, how about five it's like quarter no four is quarter but five we consider. Chinese in Hong Kong, Chinese in Taiwan, Chinese in Macau, Chinese in China, and also Chinese in overseas. We consider all these five, five babies, five kind, five types of Chinese. We call it. Um, we 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 call the Lord flew the the use of the platform of the homecoming gathering to put us all back on a track. On a track that uh to put us in a mission. And also a very strong calling, and like thousands, like ten thousands, hundred thousands of Chinese has been baptized in this calling and the presence of the Lord, and this move us into one heart. Of course, I'm not saying that uh, we 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 have no intention to highlight that. Oh, our calling is so much bigger, but I I believe that you know personally, 
uh, when I like talk to anyone in Hong Kong, even though uh, they are from different language, different skin, different country, they are in Hong Kong. We talk about the the calling of Hong Kong. I believe that whatever calling that is given by the Lord, because our, it's because of the greatness of our God. All the callings that are really, really great is much more beyond one individual, beyond one church, beyond, beyond one domination, beyond one city, beyond one nation. So having said that, um, I am in the middle of uh, a hub and bow session, which is uh, has been launched uh, for a couple of years. And it was it was held in every Monday. Uh, in the morning, 7 a.m., and it was serving for, mm, no, 7, 6.30 until 8. And then uh, to for the people that before they hit, uh, hit to the office, go to work, especially during the pandemic, a lot of people, they, has to, uh, they have the options to work from home. So a lot of people, they especially, the Lord put a, a move a lot of youth there are 20 something, 30 something that that sessions, uh, some of them, the, the youngest was like around 15. They really like lay down there. They, they're molded and they are baptized by the presence of the Lord through this platform, through this uh, harp and bow session. And uh, the even though the worship band, they were uh, initiated by the youth, different youth band from different churches. It was fantastic. But uh we had it during before the pandemic and during the pandemic we had it a couple of years and it, um but somehow the lord called us to to stop it and then we restarted it on monday night which is tonight and <laughs> tonight is not the very first one but um they we the, the youth they want to rekindle the fire they want to rekindle the fire because i want to share a little bit because um the 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 body of Christ, we are fighting a battle after after the pa Passover of this year. We have been, um, even though myself, uh, when I was on watching on the wall, or connected with the Samish generation in the city and also the elders in the city, we face so such a great battle of uh separation, division, division. So uh would would it would would be a better word division spirit of division it is a strong battle strong battle and it was it is not uh, a new thing maybe uh, because we are calling the maybe i i i believe that it is also one of the uh, greatest war uh, among the brother of christ in global uh, global sphere because as we are talking about unity and also oneness that of course, the division will come. And um, I think this is uh, one of the things that uh, we are, uh, myself and also uh, the elders in the, in Hong Kong, we are going to fight, we are fighting for this battle. But uh, some, of the, some of the elders in Hong Kong, they also, like myself, maybe some of you guys were here in the Hong Kong Watch in July, and I was injured. And thank God that I'm in a very good in recovery mode. So I would like to um, start it, uh, um, start this session in uh, worship. But of course, uh, in the past, in the past that I would uh, share the share the screen and put a YouTube, YouTube put a worship song through YouTube. But of course, I'm in the sessions of the hop and bow. Um, May I introduce, they are not saying English or in the language, but uh, in Hong Kong, we are, it is um, very rare that we sing different language uh, songs to worship. Sometimes we sing Cantonese, sometimes we sing Mandarin, which is the main dialect in mainland China and Taiwan and most of the Chinese sing in global. And sometimes we sing uh, English worship song. So um, um, let me introduce you to uh, for 10 minutes to soak into maybe your spirit can uh, kind of like blend into the hub and bow sessions of this um, beautiful sessions that we're trying to rekindle the fire for the next generation. Um, we'll have it 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes uh, on something like that. Then I'll, I'll back to the, the sharing 
uh, of the brief, uh, uh, brief, brief uh, sh uh, sharing of the Hong Kong status uh, for this watch. So let me bring the computer up. I choose one of the my, one of my favorite uh, worship song that uh, maybe some of you guys have heard it before, because um, there was one that um, there was one there was a very very strong um, message in my heart that to a restoring a voice, restoring a voice, and it is one of the voice that I believe that this is going to be back, back to. Um, the power of authenticity, authentic, authenticity of the voice of the Lord, the authenticity of the deity of the Lord, that um, his voice is going to recreate, is going to restore, is going to regenerate and revive everything. And also in the in the book of Genesis chapter one, that he's going to divide the darkness and the light. And we are living at this moment and I believe that the revival um, is has been started pocket revival here or there in different places in different form in different um, style but I would believe that the tsunami like revival is gonna release because the voice is one I believe that the Lord is in a, the Holy Spirit is in the intentionality of, of making the bride of Christ all over the entire globe of of the body of Christ in 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 the body or in the body all over the world. So I would like to dedicate this song, um, one uh in one voice. It is sound. It is sound in Mandarin, but it is very powerful. It's about the uh, kingly priesthood, and also an identity of a bride of Christ. So Lord, we dedicate this moment to you, and we worship you. We want to honor you. We come together because of your name. We anchor, we anchor our love, we anchor our lives, we anchor the, the, the destiny of our city, the destiny of our country. We dedicate ourselves, we dedicate all our callings, our heart, our prayers onto you, Lord. We only have one goal, that you are our goal. Without Jesus Christ, nobody can come to the Father. Jesus Christ, thank you for your cross. Thank you for the power of your precious blood. Holy Spirit, we pray. We thank you for your presence. We want your presence to baptize us. Baptize here, whoever on, on this costume call, baptize us in one heart, one spirit, one voice. And your voice is from the Holy Spirit and Holy Spirit alone. Other voices will go down and dial down in Jesus' name. We reject any other voices. So let us be in one voice. Let us be in one body. Let us be in one. We pray it in Jesus' mighty name. On behalf of our team, I welcome everybody to the Hong Kong Watch. And sorry about uh, some of the <laughs> little technical um, disruptions, but uh, I have a message to you guys that I felt that this is very important. Um, it is not just for Hong Kong, but um, I would like to share share this with you. Uh, I I choose to share this in uh, in this platform because it is very important, and this is very um. Uh, such a strong message. Um, also, if anyone joined later, um, maybe you hear a beautiful worship background. It is the youth of Hong Kong. I'm so proud of them. Oh, um, also, I would like to uh, report that uh, my hand are uh, recovering very well. And I have been sharing this testimony everywhere, wherever I go. And the, the enemy tried to take me off. Uh, with the glass that hit it from two meters high and hit it on my head. And I thank God that even though I got a cap, it's, which is a very ordinary cap, but it is from Jerusalem. <laughs> but <laughs> I was always joking around that, you know, whoever wants to get his cap at Jerusalem, whenever you go to whenever whenever you go to Jerusalem and uh also by with the with the glass open open edges glass and trying to chop off my hand but I, I I'm recovering very well and also right now I would oh okay so the main dish um the picture that you are seeing it is from a movie it is a very very deep and very strong and very bloody movie and I 
I would like to say that um, this is from um, Malaysian director with the character in the movie is from Taiwan, from mainland China, from Hong Kong. And also it is about bullying. Um, it, it, it was shot, it was, it was filmed in Philippines. It was filmed in Philippines in a Chinese town in Philippines. So I would like to say that, um, let me share about the message in the movie. It is about the, um, the fear, the silence that we have in the Chinese community, also in Asia. I, I believe, I strongly believe that this movie is a voice, is a voice They're trying to bring out awareness of the Asia community because Asia somehow, let me let me say that I cannot speak for Singaporean, I cannot speak for all uh, Malaysian and other uh, other eth ethnic groups from different countries, but um when I travel around in during the when I was in the marketplace before I became a pastor, I travel around in different places. Then I believe that I knew that we share a common values and also it is something that is like a code rules and we, we don't say it, but we kind of add it like subtly. It's about silence for the unfair, being silenced for the injustice, being silenced and we get used to it. We used to silence, being silent and choose silence. We mean silence on the unrighteousness. And this movie is, is uh, the name of the movie is called A Place Called Silence. And it was, it took me like, after I watched it, after I see this movie, it was so strong that it took me one hour to cut free from the, the message and the, and the strong, like, you know, the stirring in my spirit. It was about bullying in the school and also sexual assault, sexual assault um about the kids find justice and the bullying started with a small group of people girls that which is one of them is a daughter of the um, headmaster the principal of the school because of it everybody remained silent even though the teachers even though some of the uh higher rank teachers and different uh, ranking in the school everybody knows and in the movie it was Christian message all everywhere it's everywhere the first girl the first the first girl was bullied and being killed by accident um she was wearing a a, a crown a throne with a, a throne crown of throne with roses you can see, you can see the in the in the post of a movie that uh shown in the PowerPoint on the right hand side on the top of the right hand side it was the head of the girl the young girl that it was uh killed by accident while she was being bullied she was wearing this phone and also with roses on it and her best friend saw it she witnessed it but her mother was so the, the she was she was scared of the authority or because her girl um the the two girls that were bullied they were underprivileged one of the first girl was bullied she was a little bit um retarded and the main character that she witnessed her best friend was bullied and killed by those uh by those group the bully group and she told her mother, but she was, she, she, she was deaf, not deaf, she was mute, she was a mute, she cannot say, but she tried to write, she tried to share it with the mother, the mother knew it, but her mother remained silent, there was the, you can see on the left hand side, the first kind of silence, the, this movie, it says different kind of silence, the si first sign of First type of silence is a silence of fear of authority. The mother feared of getting a girl, maybe her baby girl will lose the, uh, uh, the right to go to school or being bullied again. Well, actually her, her girl did being bullied by the same group of 
uh, of girls in, in the school. And her baby do daughter was the second target. And you see that on the left corner, bottom corner, uh, I captured one of the, uh, the scene in the movie. And there was the, you see that the little girl was being stick with glue on the wall, like a cross, like Jesus hanging on the cross. And also when, when this main character, the, li the little girl witnessed her best friend being bullied with the throne of, uh, throne of crown, they're trying to protect a dove. The dove was injured and they kept it in a cage. They tried to protect it. And other girls was like bullying and, oh, you have a pet, you have your baby dove, you have a bird. And, you know, they tried to like, you know, hurt the bird and hurt the girls too. And it was everywhere. It all, They also mentioned um that in Chinese, in Asia, we believe in Buddhism and Taoism. And we be really believe that this kind of um this kind of message that to teach you and guide you to be a good person. And in the movie, the main character, the older character from mainland China, she yeah. she was he was playing a role that he is a very renowned, very popular teacher of teaching Taoism. And he's very famous, extremely famous. He's also uh he he wrote books about the Taoism, the 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 things that he taught, he 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 has been teaching, and everybody buy that book and try everybody try to be a nice person, to you know, be be the better person, like you know, following the 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 teaching and everything. But he was one of the person that keep the silence of knowing the daughter of the principal that killed, accidentally killed the the other student, even though he witnessed that incident, the accident. So um, it also mentioned the second type of silence of being outsiders, the selfishness. It's not, none of my business. It's, it's not, I don't want to get involved with it. And it's just, it, is, it happens everywhere. This is not the first time. This is it will may, maybe hopefully is it will be the last time, but maybe or maybe not. Nobody cares. Carelessness. And the third type of silence is by the character, the the lady girl, the the baby girl, or the baby girl that she was bullied from the beginning to the end, and she survived, and she remained silent with a purpose. Of course, in the movie. He didn't say that, oh, any, anyone pray, anyone uh, uh, forgive. Um, well, actually, there was forgiveness. And the girl in the movie was being molested by the father. And the mother also remained silent on this. And the girl took a took a very radical actions that she subtly informed her best friend's father because this girl, this little girl, she witnessed her best friend being killed by the bullies. But she didn't want to remain silent, even though she is she is milked. She was milked. She tried to tell her mother, the mother took no action. She tried to tell other people, nobody cares. And she silenced, she was, she she remained silent with a purpose, but she planned it well to inform who killed the girl and informed that the her best friend's father. And of course, in the movie that the father was full of rage, hate, full of rages and like anger, pain and everything. He took it the wrong way and killed uh, those five girls that who killed her baby girl. This is uh, the reason that I want to share this because um, I believe that, I believe that this is something that uh, this is something that we cannot shine away and it is happening 
every corner, every minute that in, in our town, in a city. And I have shared it in one of the women's group, intercessory, intercessory group in Hong Kong that um, according to statistic, um, 93% of the of the children they are molested, they were molested, they were hurt being hurt by the people that they knew. They knew those people. They knew them. They are not from strangers. And the girls that they are older, they somehow they because of the things that the assault, the sexual assault that they experience, and the parents or people they trust. Nobody voice out, nobody tried to restore her value and try to tell her that this is not her fault. This is not because she's, she has done something bad. Somehow they got devalued. And when they get older and they hit the puberty and become teenagers or like 19, 20 years old, they just sell themselves. They just, you know, being, they just, they, they don't see that they are tr they are precious. It is happening in Hong Kong, even though when I'm driving in Hong Kong, Hong Kong is such a place that for GPD wise that we are rich, but in spirit and in many area that we are poor, we are, we are poor. One street that we are selling like very expensive apartments. The other side that I can literally share with you guys that there would be a very, very old apartment, very, very old building by the street. I can see 13 years old, 14 years old, young girl. They're standing on the, on the, by the street. They are selling their body. They are selling their body. Maybe you, you, you can, you can ask me, Jessica, why don't you call the cops? And well, I'm not saying the cop, they are corrupted. I'm not saying that, but it's just like everywhere. They're like everywhere. They're like, oh, we're just hanging out. Like, you know, we did nothing. Like, you know, we just hanging out with waiting for my friend to come down. We're going to go to have a coke, uh, to have a, uh, to go to McDonald's and chill. And they can say all kinds of reason. But in Hong Kong, that's not against law to sell your body. But if a man or whoever uh, conduct a sexual um, conduct, like, you know, with money, then that's out of, outside of the law. That's violation of the law. So even though I knew that there is a place that the girl, they are selling their body, right next door i cannot call the police and try to put it down but i thank god that the lord the lord is um is giving me a strong prompting in the spirit that there's a lot of history and and there's some roots his, historic roots in hong kong that hong kong has been together with macau one of the most highly trafficking traffic human trafficking cities in the history. Whoever, most of the Chinese that you see in America and overseas, we traffic them. We traffic them. In Macau, through Macau, through Hong Kong, we traffic them. And I knew it, especially the, the location that my church is. The Lord intentionally put us there. And when we get, we are apartment church. And we when we get down to the ground floor, turn left, this is a red light district. And the that red light district was so popular that when Patricia King was here in Hong Kong to broadcasting her her uh, movie that's called um is about human trafficking, she intentionally intentionally wants to live in the hotel right next to the red light district. And after after the conference, she would walk in the street and talk to the girls and talk to the ladies and try to get them saved. So we have long history that we traffic girls, we traffic men to the minefield in uh, to uh, San Francisco, Los Angeles. And you can see like, you know, for, for the gold rush, of course, like some of them, they are voluntarily, they want to go and, you know, oh, to catch a gold, gold, gold rush. But 
some of them, some of them, and most of them, they are trafficked for other reason. They are sold. They are sold. They're being sold. And also in Hong Kong, we have a long history. The Lord has been putting in my heart. I shared it before, a um, couple of months before that. The Lord is trying to um, get me to uh, oh, to do the comfort woman healing of the land, so that this is something that. It had the fruit, the the corrupt, the rotten fruit has been showing in our next generation. So I I'm I'm calling more intercessors and watchmen to pray for not just for the city. I believe that it is happening in other places too, in other next generations too. This is something happened in the past, and we have to cut fruit in the cut off the root and pray for pray pray against it and also we have to pray and save the next generation and this is the voice that i would like to release tonight and i am so glad that i'm here in the presence of the of the of, of, the, of the lord and also in the presence of the voice of the youth that they are praying for holiness they are praying for revival they are praying for 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 the next generation for the unbelievers of that of that generation crying out on their behalf to the Lord that to save to save their generation. They're not just for this city. They're connected to the youth in Fiji. They're connected to the youth in different different places. They're connected with they the worshiping with other other youth in Korea, South Korea. They are they belong to the nations. They belong to the kingdom. I thank God that we are, um that's why I like I would like to um release this voice so that this is not just a voice, but awareness. And also we have to release this voice on the wall. Thank you. I think the time is up, right? Oh, we still have 10 minutes. I would like to invite anyone, if you have any questions or if you want to pray for us, please do. I love to, I love to invite different watchmen. If you want to release a voice and pray for us, or you have, a message or you have a prompting or you have a revelation please share with me pray into it um as because I, my heart was really pricked on this regarding a movie uh of a uh a guard was he a border uh a border agent who would catch um supposedly catch uh the men who were doing it, but never re never retrieved a child, and it, his heart and and it, it it he was called out on it by somebody that said, "I just I can't do this." And then, so he committed to going, and he actually he, he even quit his job because they wouldn't let him go to Mexico. And then he went and 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 did a sting and and, and saved many children, and yet, sadly, in our in our country, in California, in in Hong Kong, people are blind to it. They 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 don't do anything, and it should it should. I don't say rage, but a whole a righteous indignation. Okay, Jesus had that, you know. Yes. And so I'm praying to them, Heavenly Father, we, Father, you are holy and righteous and good, and 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 you paid the price for sin by sending your only begotten Son, and we celebrate that. Lord, that we not be that we not be blind, but but have the light of Christ, Lord, and that the light would shine in the darkness. The darkness doesn't comprehend it; it throws the darkness into chaos. Lord, may we be have the courage and the the courage to speak light, to stand for these 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 broken people, these people in bondage, and by by those that are that know them and and and, and lord that, that that there's such silence lord we, we we pray for those who are have the eyes to see and are in positions or that they would not be silent and, and lord that we wouldn't be blind to it that to stand it and thankful for those uh those who who are are increasing the penalties making this making a greater consequence as there should be and we're and so i'm thankful for that here in california and i pray lord that that would go beyond as, as, as goes california so goes the nation and even the world and so i pray that for hong kong and for macau lord to to 
to really put a bite into uh, those doing this thing, that there would be greater consequence and the fear of God would, would grow so that they turn. Even though they don't know the Lord, they know there's consequences. And, 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 and Lord, and those that do know and do know the Lord, that they would be seek for righteousness and to, to reach out to these broken people. We pray in Jesus' name. I think it's a topic that we need to pray into through the days and weeks ahead. I don't think it just affects uh, Hong Kong and the Chinese area because it is um, something which is prevalent everywhere. So we will pray. Lord, we just pray into all these terrible things that are happening. We just thank you for those people who are able to, to come against this scourge of humanity. And Lord, I just pray that you will speak into the leadership of the nations to actually bring slavery, um, make it illegal like it was in the past, but it's <laughs> worse now, I think, than it has been in any time. So Lord, we just uh, lift this all up to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. I believe that this is the voice for Asia because um, we were in the in the in the history we were suffering in this way, and but this is the time, and this is a season that, um, of course, the nations the born of Christ shall arise in this such a darkness like this. That um, I believe that there will be a voice for the because of the just and the righteous is the the foundation of the throne. I believe that this is something that we can do. And I believe the mama bear would have so many mama bear will rise to rise up and protect the next generation. Let's show us, let us rise in the in the in the inner room. We can shout out that voice, release the voice in the inner room so that we can pray first before we take actions outside of the room. Get back to you. Thank you very much. Thank you for everybody. Jessica, yes, Jessica, thank you for bringing this subject forward. It's it's a huge issue, and we often shove it under the rug where it's, it doesn't. It's not a priority. Um, but my one of my best friends is fighting for it here in California, and our state senator has been pushing this last year for Senate Bill fourteen fourteen. Uh, which makes sex trafficking a felony here in California. The wild state of, of the United States has just passed it by, with bipartisan support. That is nothing short of a miracle. And, and so um, I'm, I'm just going to declare this, this call for righteousness is going to rise up in the nations as we stand in, in gap for this whole thing. I, I mean, it is an absolute miracle that this thing passed, but it's now, I, I believe, on Newsom's desk to sign, and uh, let's continue to pray for others to rise up. <clears throat> we all need miracles, and this is what our God favorite <laughs> favorite job. Yeah, well, Shanna had a lot Thank of prayer so support behind it, and that's a commission for all of us that this thing is not going to go away unless we, the you know, the prayer army gets behind it and pushes back uh, on this whole thing. So thank you so much. Thank you. Susan, I've made you the host. Mm -hmm. And if you can just stop the recording when you want to change over. Okay. okay. Is Scott on? Do I see Scott? No. His wife is.